All right, so there's a tool I've been using that I really, really, really like. I've been using it nonstop, and I wanted to take a moment and show you guys just how cool this tool is. Now, here's the thing is that I got excited enough about this tool that I told my wife about it, and I was like, wife, wifey, wifey, I do this, this tool that I really like. I'm very excited about it. And she couldn't understand me. She couldn't understand the fact that I could get this excited about text manipulation tools. But I tried to tell her, hey, some people's love, love language just happens to be text manipulation and this is because she doesn't deal with mongo mongodb queries all day okay you know what it's like dealing with mongodb queries all day they're just the pain pain everywhere anyway so the tool is called the J jq stands for json query you can shorten it up to jQuery if you would like to. I think that's probably fine. I don't think anyone's using that one. That's what it's been known as for a long time. But if you're not, if you don't know what JQ is, you're missing out. And if you do know what JQ is, you're probably still missing out. Okay? No, don't confuse it with Jake Weary. Jake Weary, the famous actor. Well, not that like not super famous, but still famous enough to be to be known. He, don't confuse it with that either. So I want to show you some cool things you can do with JQ. So first off, I have this really large file called Big. It has effectively a thousand entries, five thousand entries into it, four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Not really sure how that works, but I have a bunch of entries in there. Uh, if I just want to make them from small to big, you just you know you just pipe it into JQ. So if I just say JQ Big, it will then take that and do something fantastic with it. Now look at how nice and big that all is, and now we have it all nicely printed. You can also compact them, make them nice and tiny. That's fantastic. You can take it. You can actually just select out specific. things. Things. Let's say I just grab all the IDs. If you provide a dash R, you actually can grab out the IDs without all like the stringification and everything on there. So if you wanted to use it for something else, that's pretty dang that's pretty dang cool. But hey, by the way, we haven't done anything yet with JQ. Okay, we've done nothing with JQ yet. It gets significantly better. All right, slow down, chat. You shouldn't be this horny yet. We haven't even got we haven't even got to the good parts. All right, so let's go like this. I'm gonna take JQ and I'm gonna create a custom object with ID. Actually, what what were the other ones? I forgot already. What what, what do we have? Okay, we have ID logs title values. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go uh, ID is ID and logs are gonna be uh, logs. Right, that's it. I'm gonna create a smaller object out of it. Now look at this. I just stripped out and created a whole new object. They don't even have to be named the same thing, right? I can create this thing as foo and bar, right? So I just created a new object on the fly. Now, hold on, it gets, hold on, hold on, it gets even better. Look at this. Now, notice that sometimes my bar is empty, right? It's null. And sometimes it's not null. It has an object in here. That means I can do something like this. I can go select, uh, select logs in which the length is greater than zero. And then you got to, you know, pipe in the file. Now, those are all ones that have log that exists, that have a longer, that have something in it. How neat is that? I can select out and only get the ones that I want that actually have logs. You can also use has. Has is another one, right? So I can go, uh, I can take logs and go like uh, has logs. Like long as it has the key logs, only print out those ones. It still gets better. It still gets better. I can select and go like this. Value. Look at values right here. I have A, B, and C. I can go values.a plus uh, values.b is greater than 1. And look at that. These are the only ones in which A plus B are greater than 1. I've just selected out of all those 5,000 items and did that. So let's make it small. I'm going to compact it so they're all line by line. That means I've now cut my list in half. Half of my list. I went from 4,099 down to this. So that means I can do even... Look, watch, watch this one. Watch this one. Notice that I have these names like Tender Feelings and uh, these, funny, these funny little titles like that. I can actually create different titles if I would like to, right? Or these errors. Okay, so look at this nice little error I have right here. I have Go is Actually Better, Tender Feelings, right? I have these funny ones. So what I can do is I can actually take this and go like this. Select Errors in which the length is greater than uh, zero, so there is an errors value, and any item from within there contains, let's go like this, let's go wife, because I know that a bunch of you Arch users, you probably don't even know what that stuff is, but there we go, so we're actually gonna search inside of here for wife. When I hit enter, there's none. None of them have wife in there. 
There's none. Just like just like your life. Uh, but if I go uh, tender, the one we just got done seeing, tender, you'll see that all of these have tender in there. Tender feelings. Tender feelings. Tender feelings. Tender feelings. So I'm able to search through the arrays vector and be able to grab things out of that. Savage, absolutely. There's only 74 out of the four out of the 5,000 that had that. And so, like, JQ is pretty cool. You can type in all these pretty awesome things. Prime discovers SQL like querying. Yeah, but you get to do it with your. You get to do. You get to do it right here, in your command line on a bunch of a JSON. You know how great that is. But it gets so much better. It gets so much better. Are you ready for this one? So I have a file. I, I, this one's just small. Look at this. So it's like a big file full of these, right? I'm in a big file. Watch this. I can highlight one of these lines, hit colon. You'll see that I'll get a little range selector here and go like this. Bang JQ. Uh, whoopsies. Bang, uh, bang JQ. It deminified it for me. Which means I can go dash C, reminify it. I can go percent, percent bang, or I can just really go bang JQ. Or it is, it's percent, it, it's percent. You can go percent bang JQ and you can maximize the entire file. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Hold on though. Remember all the other things we could do with JQ? You know what? I want to select out only the ones that have errors with a length greater than zero. There we go. All of these are the ones with errors. Right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, like, okay, okay, you know, I can, I let, let me, let me re, let me reminify those ones. Let me reminify. So now we're only down to five. What happened if I want to grab the ones out of here in which uh, values A plus values B plus values C are greater than 1.5? All right, there's only one log left that actually has that. So we just went from 100 logs down to one log by just doing some simple querying inside the editor. And so now I can kind of goof around with this thing. If I'm just looking for stuff, it's pretty cool. Re a reason to use Vim. There we go. We're back to 100 now. JQ is out of this world. Why percent bang? Percent bang means the entire file. So percent bang just simply means take the entire file's contents and pipe it into this program. So JQ, remember, JQ can work with cat, so I can go small cat JQ errors, right? And there you go. Not a lot of errors were selected, right? So I can pipe things into it. So when I go percent bang, I'm piping the entire file into JQ. Then JQ is doing all that stuff, and then the output goes back into Vim. Using JQ has been one of the most useful things I've done in a long time. The amount of stuff that I have to do where I'm trying to figure out how to select out data, how to be able to do like to be able to get things like to, like to take an error array that's deeply nested somewhere within a JSON object and then to be able to do a string contains on those arrays to find only the errors that are the ones that I'm looking for. Like that saves so much time. So much of my time is spent looking through data and going through things ex like extensively and JQ just makes the JSON or Jismal for short uh, much, much, much better. So if you don't know JQ, it is so it is so dang easy. And the best part is, is it's super, super easy to use with ChatGPT. I That's actually how I learned JQ. Just go in here and say something along the lines of, you know, I have a uh, structure like, you know, foo, that's a, you know, uh, one item, uh, two items, right? And say, and I would like, let's see, and I have a file full of these, uh, full of these, full of these, and I want to use JQ to select out, uh, uh, let's see, uh, data with length, uh, a length of foo greater than five. How do I do that? Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at that beauty. That's perfectly correct, by the way. Just so you know. Like, look at that. It can teach you right away. And then you just start learning some of the syntax. Anyways, I really like this. I really like JQ. The name is the Primogen.